clerics. So they're actually getting rid of groups. They are, okay. <sighs> okay. Um, this is going to be interesting. Clerics draw from the power from the realms of the gods, harness it to work miracles. Blessed by a deity, pantheon, other immortal entity, cleric can reach out to divine magic of the outer planes where gods dwell, channel that energy to bolster people into battle foes. Because their power is a divine gift, clerics typically associate themselves with temples or shrines dedicated to whatever deity or other immortal force unlock their magical ability. Harnessing divine magic doesn't rely on specific training, yet a cleric might learn formulate prayers and ancient rites that help them focus their mind and spirits on drawing power from the outer planes. Even a cleric who declines to worship their divine benefactor might perform their benefactor's rites. Doing so helps the cleric feel connected to the immortal realms. Oh god, I don't like reading these. Not every acolyte or officiant in a temple of shrine is a cleric, some priests. Yet yeah, so what? They're literally just adding not every acolyte or efficient is a cleric. Is that a thing? Are they literally adding that? Like, you don't have to make everybody clerics? Okay, we're... Okay, sure. <laughs> Apparently not all acolytes are clerics. Oh, God. Anyway, cleric updates. A uh, divine order, formerly called Holy Order, has moved from second level to first level. The Thaumaturge option has been redesigned to include elements from the former Thaumaturge and Scholar options. Spell casting, spell preparation is no longer tied to the level of your spell slots. Aha! Okay, this is intriguing. They reverted the levels for bards. They didn't revert the levels for clerics. Okay. We're officially getting rid of epic boons, but we knew that already. All right. Channel Divinity has returned to level two. Number of uses now increases with your cleric level isn't based on proficiency bonus. You regain one use whenever you finish a short rest. Healing and damage for divine spark has changed. Turn and dead now uses the incapacitated and frightened conditions. Multiclassing sidebar is a new rule for channel divinity. Wait, cleric subclass levels now match the level progression in the 2014 cleric, except for the subclasses now starting at third level. Big features at one and two. What? Wait, so are we getting more shit at three? Okay. I'm curious now. Because what's the point of getting, of matching it except... Okay, well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, Smite and Dead, use your... Sure, I need to look. Excuse me. Blessed Strikes, now let's you choose Divine Strike or Potent Spellcasting. Okay. Improved, Commune, Divine Intervention, and Greater have been redesigned to allow reliable results. And Greater and Vine has returned to 20th level, replacing Epic Boon. Okay. So let's look at this for a second. So Divine Order is now a 1, which to be fair, and I will say this, um, oh wait, but yeah, but your level 1 feature from your class is usually like, yeah, is usually like kind of your, your, your whole Divine Order, I assume. I mean, to an extent, I guess. Because, like, you get a bonus cantrip for, for light, you get heavy armor for life, but you also get a, an additional first level, and then you get your channel divinity as a second level. So, 
Okay. Um, wait, so spellcasting and divine order instead of divine domain. Channel divinity at two. Um, and usually you had a divine domain feature. Uh, so cleric civil at three. We didn't used to have anything at three though. So that's, that's good. But yeah, okay. So yeah, that's a thing. Four ability score improvement. Five smite and dead, which used to be destroy and dead. Six is a subclass feature, which used to be a divine domain feature, but channel divinity the amount of times was changed, right? Is is this now? Um, yeah, is this now? So that's fine. I find it very weird where the cutoff between three and four is, but other than that. Um, and you get back one on a short rest, which, oh no, it used to be, you used to get back all of them on short rest, right? That was the thing with Channel Divinity. Um, yeah, okay. Blessed Strikes. We didn't used to get anything at 7. 8, an ability score improvement. 9, Commune is new. Um, to be fair, we used... To, well, no, we just used to get a Divine Domain feature at 8. Wait. It just says ability score improvement here. We used to get a we used to get a subclass feature here. Okay, nine commune, ten divine intervention, eleven just higher destroy and dead, ability score improvement at twelve, thirteen nothing, fourteen used to be a higher destroy and dead, improved blessed strikes, which I'm assuming is kind of like this. Seventeen subclass feature still the same. And then 18 used to be nothing, or used to be a third channel divinity per short rest, uh, and then greater divine intervention. Okay. Uh, amount of spells is still the same, I would assume, right? That really hasn't changed. Yeah, it doesn't seem like it. Um, I just realized there's a prepared spells column here. Okay, we're, we'll, we'll see, but this is weird. This used to be, for Cleric, this used to be Cleric level plus Wisdom, right? Which, to be fair, I, don't, I, I might have already mentioned this. It's kind of similar if you're working with, like, Point Buy. Like, if you're working with Point Buy, you're assuming 16 Wisdom at level 1. So then it'd be 3 plus 1, 3 plus 2, 3 plus 3. Here it technically would go to 18 wisdom and level four, so you'd get eight. But then here you'd go at fifth level, so you'd have fifth level cleric plus four from wisdom, so nine. So then four plus six, four plus seven, four plus eight would technically be five plus eight, would be 13. Uh, then here it'd be five plus nine, five plus 10, five plus 11. And then here we're starting to fall off because technically here you'd end at 25 something, so. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a little weird. I think they... I, I actually think that they put this here because a lot of people probably missed the amount of spells they were allowed to prepare in the original player handbook because it's kind of like shoved in there with your spell casting, which is already a big portion and because it's different for so many of the classes, they probably decided to do it like that. Because, like, for Paladin, for Cleric, and for Druid, you can change it at will. But then for Bard, for Sorcerer, and for Warlock, you can't. And then for Wizard, you have to look at a book. And then you technically also have, like, a Ranger also doesn't get to change them. Uh, and then, like, Eldritch Knight and Arcane Trickster also don't get to change them, but they also get a number of spells a different way. It's like, eh. So, probably just doing this to make it consistent, I would assume. So, that's fine. Uh, create a cleric, yeah, sure. 1d8 per cleric, 8 plus con. Still the same. Wisdom and Charisma, I'm pretty sure, is still the same. History, Insight, Medicine, Persuasion, Religion. History, Insight, Medicine, Persuasion, Religion. Simple Weapons, yep. Tools, None. Light Armor, Medium Armor, Shields. 
Yep. And starting equipment, I'm not going to go through. I'm assuming this is like very, very similar. Although here, if you have more than one class with channel divinity feature, a class's uses of the feature can be expended only on that class's channel divinity options. Okay, so you can't... So let's say that you multi-class Cleric and Druid. Both of them have a channel divinity. Uh, you get two channel divinities from Cleric, two from Druid, you can only use two times the Cleric and two times the Druid. You can't use the Druid one four times, for example. Which I get with the way that they changed it. Was that a thing back in the... Was that, was that a thing? It did, it, no, it wasn't, right? I don't remember how Channel Divinity multiclassing used to work, because I've seen so little people multiclass like Cleric and Druid and then Cleric and Paladin. No. All right. Um, let's go through it. Uh, first level Divine Order. Protector, you gain martial weapon proficiency and heavy armor training. Thaumaturge, you know one extra cantrip from the Divine Spell List. And in addition, your mystical connection to the Divine gives you a bonus to your intelligence religions checks. Really? That's the choice you have to make. Really? I am now extremely curious what this used to be. Because fuck. Okay, it used to be protector. Martial weapons, heavy armor. You gain proficiency in two of the following skills of your choice. Arcana, history, nature, persuasion, and religion. And whenever you make an ability check using either skill, you gain a bonus to the check equal to your wisdom modifier. Thaumaturge. Delving deeper into your magical abilities, you can prepare one extra zero level spells or a cantrip from the divine spell list. In addition, you regain ex one expended use of your channel divinity whenever you finish a short rest. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? This is the combination you thought that seems great. What? You get a cantrip and you get a plus wisdom bonus to religion checks. To intelligence religion checks. Because remember, there's a bunch of DMs who allow you to make wisdom religion checks. If you're praying or something like that. Because as a cleric, you should be able to do that. Nah, man. It has to be an intelligence religion check. Are you fucking kidding me? What? This. This is the combination. Not even you get to get two proficiency bone. You don't get two proficiencies. Not even you get to regain an additional fucking usage of your of your divine intervention. I get the fact that technically the additional use of a channel divinity would be dumb. Because you don't have them yet. Because you're level one. But what? You're not telling me this is the best this is the best you could come up with. I'm sorry, one extra cantrip. Some people are gonna be like, oh, but I get to use four cantrips now. Sure, maybe that's like the one cantrip that you needed, but you're not gonna tell me that you're going to give up proficiency in martial weapons quote-unquote, and heavy armor over this. Okay, sure, if you want to play a dex cleric, sure, but even then the proficiency in martial weapons gives you proficiency in rapiers. Like, what? This does not seem worth it at all. God, I liked the previous Holy Order. 
I still like the idea of Divine Order. I love the fact that they moved it to level 1 because then you don't have my armor problem that I have with everything. Namely, that at your first level you're going to have to play a 16 strength 8 dex cleric with, in other words, 9 AC to then at second level get heavy armor, buy heavy armor, and then finally you're able to go for combat. This is great. But this is... Whatever, I know. Buff this, really. They're at least, at least make it fucking intelligence checks that you have proficiency in or choose an intelligence check or choose two intelligence checks that you have proficiency in or whatever. But I prefer the split version, I'm going to be honest. Spellcasting. Cantrips. No, three cantrips. Sharp. Guidance, Sacred Flame, Thaumaturgy. Okay, so they are still putting the examples in there. Um, Whenever you get a cleric level, replace one of your cantrips with another. So they're, pu they're, they're pushing this through to all classes, so that's good. And when you reach 4th and 10th level in the class, you learn another cantrip. Sure, that was the same in Bard, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, spell slots shows you how many spell slots you have rather than the prepared ones. Prepare the list of spells at first level or higher that are available for you to cast this feature. To start, choose four first level spells from the divine spell lists. Rather than choosing, you may start with Bless, Your Wounds, Guide, and Bullshit of Faith. Seems fine. Number of spells on your list also increases. Yeah. You can play whatever that spells increases. Choose additional spell lists. Wait, what? Oh, okay, okay. So, if you're a third level cleric, your list of prepared spells can include six spells of first or second level in any combination. If another cleric feature gives spells that don't always have prepared, those spells don't count against the number of spells on the list. Sure. Changing your prepared spells whenever you finish a long rest, you can change your list of prepared spells. Replacing one or more of the spells there with other divine spells for which you have spell slots. Okay. This was starting to read like they were going to go the bard, sorcerer, ranger route that you weren't able to change your spells in. Um, which I still think that bard should be able to do that as well, but I guess bard has like a giant spell list. I'd still like Bard and Sorcerer to be able to change their spells up a little more. But maybe that's because they have a giant spell list. Because technically it's it's only... Yeah, it's it's technically like... Well, although Ranger can't switch out their spells either. So why can't Ranger... can but, but, Like, why can Paladin do it but can Ranger not do it? Is it because Paladin is Divine Smite? They don't give a shit about their spells anyway? Probably. Paladin spells are probably a lot weaker. Although Cleric spells are pretty fucking powerful. But they're, limi they're limited in the ones that you have, right? You don't have that many like, Cleric spells. Especially compared to like Sorcerer and Wizard. Eh, I mean, there's probably a reason behind it. Wisdom, sure. Holy Symbol is your spellcasting focus. Channel Divinity. Um, you gain the ability to channel divine energy directly from the outer planes, using that energy to fuel magical effects. Start with two such effects, divine spark, turn undead, each of which is described below. Each time you use your divine channel divinity, choose which effect to create. Mm -hmm. Use your channel divinity twice, you regain one expended use when finishes short, and gain all when you use when you finish a long rest. Gain additional uses at higher levels, we know that. And the DC for your channel divinity equals the spell save DC from this class's spell casting feature. All right. Divine Spark. As a magic action, point your holy symbol at another creature. You can see within 30 feet. Roll 1d8, add your wisdom, restore hit points to the creature equal to that total, or force the creature to make a con save. On a failed save, they take necrotic or radiant damage equal to that total. On a successful, they take half, I think. And you roll an additional d8 when you reach 7, 13, and 18, which are weird fucking levels. Holy shit, but I think... No, they're not in line. Never mind. 
They're not in line with shit from the original. Um, if we go to Cleric, excuse me. Oh, right, Channel Divinity used to be at one. Um, oh, shit. It used to be a number of D8s equal to your proficiency bonus and add the numbers together. Oh, I get where they're going with this. Oh, fuck. I know where they're going with this. Originally, you were able to, like, take one leveling cleric. You, you originally you probably take, like, two levels in cleric as, like, a dip. You'd get the Holy Order, which got you your heavy armor on a class that maybe couldn't use it. You got your Channel Divinity. Maybe you'd take a third level if you wanted a specific subclass. And then you just like, oh, it just increased with proficiency. This is the thing, right? Like, I get it. I get that there have been very, very powerful multi-classing builds in the past. Like Ryu is a beautiful example of that. Ranger Rogue with Sequita is a beautiful example of that. We had a Barbarian in a game at one point. I've played from level, I want to say, 6 or 7 to 16 with a Sorcerer at some point. Like one of my players played that. Like there are very powerful like multi-classing builds in the game, but they are specifically like countering multi-classing like you know what the thing is here and i get why they're doing this by the way i completely get why they're doing this like they're tr they're because they now are going for a revision strategy where they want to keep this as in line with the original so that you don't necessarily lose all the contents that you already have right they're so specifically going for something like that. And it's leading to the idea that like they now they need to f they they don't want to change the way that multi-classing works because that would break a lot of their content, I guess. Even though it's always been an optional rule like your entire PHB has not been built around the idea of multiclassing. But they're working so heavily around multiclassing that they're like... They're like stopping multiclassing from being fun without stopping... Like, it feels like they're trying to stop you from multiclassing by without saying you can't multi-class like i don't know that's that's what these change like the warlock fan the, the the changes changes felt like that as well like the fact that you weren't able to scale eldritch blast off of your level anymore but it had to be off of your warlock level is like the same idea it's like you know dips for some weird reason just aren't allowed anymore i don't know anyway um so yeah so this is now based on cleric levels and it's not even like the worst thing here is it's like it's it's been heavily fucking nerfed because and i get maybe like i i don't want to speak on damage numbers i don't know if the numbers of the original were maybe too high because technically divine spark in in, in the third UA or the third one D and D booklet or whatever we want to call it now. Like you'd have two D eights at level one. Right? You'd have two D eights at level one. Now you have one D eight. What is it? Oh now you do get to add your wisdom. So technically it's one D eight plus three, I guess, at level one. Which on average is seven and a half compared to 2d8s at level 1, but then again, this sticks to 1d8 plus 4 
up until level 7. Whereas, like, at level 5, you'd go up to 2d8s. You'd go up to 3d8s in the previous version. Like, I think this is probably, like, a fucking... Like, this is almost definitely a fucking a, a, a damage... Or, um, not a damage, a, um... Like, a balance change. Like, almost definitely. But even then, like... I don't know. I don't know. I'm I'm not gonna speak on damage numbers. I can't. But it this feels like a very heavy nerf, and they're clearly stopping it from being multi-class abused. I don't know. Anyway, 